Hello everyone, so today is a build night. We're going to take this perfectly working uh, mini burn, stealth burner hot end and uh, upgrade it to use the dragon burner parts. So essentially this small thing with everything incorporated, we'll get bigger fans and we'll get a new and shiny Galileo extruder so this is the beta version i just finished assembling and let's put it on a hot end uh, so essentially we're going to take this entire thing apart and reuse uh, the control board the hot end the sensor and also the small fan and replace pretty much everything else and uh, here I have the original mount for that, so we're going to reuse uh, the mount pad, the magnets that, ho that hold it in. And uh, yeah, I'm not going with the... I'm still going with the magnet type dock, not with the hook type dock. I think I have a way... like this is way simpler to operate, like the docking motion is so much smaller and easier. And... Uh, I hope I have a way to make it still work reasonably well. So, all right. So, that can go to a side. So, we have the fans, we have the cowling. So, this is slightly modified, but pretty much stock Dragon Burner cowling. Like these holes are slightly deeper uh, to accommodate for more space needed on the other side. And uh, yeah, this is one new thing I have added. Uh, there is uh, now hold down holes on the bottom side as well. So this thing is going to be screwed down up here and also down here. And if you look at the dragon, uh, at the mini salt burner, it also has the same system. And I initially thought that, yeah, it's not really necessary. And one thing I encountered is that uh, like normally it looks like it's holding itself together quite well, but it just kind of wiggles itself loose and like this. The long screws just kind of get loose over time. So normally what you would have is like uh, uh, one more screw that goes here. But yeah, so normally, okay, let's, let's try assembling the basics of this. Uh, yeah, that's, that goes in here. And this goes on top. So normally this mounts using these three screws. Uh, and this doesn't really work with, with a tap changer because it essentially, there's, there's, you could make it work, but it's very, very tight. And uh, instead we're doing these two button holes and they should be way more leverage. And it's like a nice form, form point mounting and has been working really well with the mini burner. All right, so let, let's, let's get going. So yeah, first of all, yeah, we need to clean this up. Like this is, uh, the mounting plate is really, really heavy on supports, but hopefully they all just peel away. All right. And yeah, I can probably do most of it just with fingers. Hopefully I don't break anything. Ah, all right, we're getting close to. And yeah, this is something you can definitely print with uh, soluble supports. Uh, but I definitely find it easy enough to remove by hand, do not bother. And uh, also the design accounts for some sag. Okay, I think at this point I need to start using my knife. So there's like 0.2 millimeter extra clearance to accommodate for some sack. So you don't need to, you just need to reasonably clean it up and then it's working fine. So yeah, these are my two favorite tools for support removal, flush cut pliers and a utility knife. Uh, yeah, this is 
giving me some trouble. No. Okay. I guess the screwdriver won't work. Flathead, 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 yes. So, all right. Oh, yeah, that just came out. So, most of the flat surfaces are really easy to remove with the flush cutters. Now I'm just removing everything that is non flat. And uh, this is a slightly improved version that I have yet to upload. Uh, we got those new mounting points, like like this area is a bit more smoothed out to add some more airflow. And what else? Oh yeah, the hot end routing is better. Let's get to that in a second. Right, we're just some non-destructive plying and tearing okay i think at this point i'll go with the flat flash cutters and yeah see it just kind of falls away on the flat surfaces yeah if someone can figure out how to make this work without supports that would be great but for me it's kind of yeah if it works then it's fine if anything this isn't the smallest hassle there is to put it all together and yeah, also abs and asa are really nice that the layer adhesion is not that intense that definitely helps with getting all those supports out if this was pla that would be a nightmare uh, yeah this location is like super thin Could probably clean it up in the cad all right Okay, now let's, let's, let's finish it up with it. Knife. Yeah. I have a debarring tool, but it's probably not needed. It's not that much to really warrant it. So yeah, this uh, little thing here is for uh, to accommodate the Dragon or V6 type heater blocks, but in our case we're not, not going to need it. Still is there. All right, looking about... looks about where we want it to be okay we have a, a thing here stuck in the screw hole yeah off you go all right so it's all nice and cleaned up and yeah there's like like this thing is definitely sagging uh, point two down but that's fine that's expected okay that's done Let's clean up all the mess I created. Okay. All right. Now, now here's my part, and now I need to get out my donor parts. Let's get the controller board out first. 
and yeah this shield is my own design it's just you know yeah hate to see all these exposed wires so throwing some piece of plastic on top of that all right and yep come out Connect all the things. So, yeah. Heater fan on the left and part fans on the right. Okay. And, oh no. Sorry. This is the temperature sensor, part fans, and heater fan. We'll need to put it back together. Okay, I need a flat hand. Okay. All right. Oh, yes. So, um, I don't want to pull that out. This tap sensor, let's just remove it. It keeps the wires attached. Okay. And yeah, we're going to use the same screws to put it back together. Uh, hello. Uh, come on. Don't get stuck on me. All right. I just had a piece of paper to avoid shorting out the boards because they are like super close and I smoked one control board just by putting them next to each other. Uh, yeah, so I'm using the 5 volt uh, BL touch port for the tap probe. Just plugs right in. Okay, that's one piece we need. And next one is uh, the hot end. Okay. Screws we're going to reuse again. Okay, off you go. Nice. And so those are we are not going to use. Instead, we're going to use. Uh, the plot. I don't remember how you're supposed to call them. BHCSs. Essentially, we're going to use. Ah, uh, let's zoom in. Ooh. Uh, we're going to use the BA flat head screws because the magnets that magnets attach here, and I think that the flat heads will have better. Um, force from the magnets like the contact surfaces will be bigger and it's going to be touching better why the camera is so dark what, what's going on hmm. okay maybe it's just the yeah zooming in is in this lighting is not great okay back on track so yeah so these are 35 millimeter screws so these ones we're going to use these are going away and now to the Revo. Nice. I hope the Y length is going to be okay. Otherwise, we'll need to do some stitching. Stitching or uh, hmm. extension. Definitely soldering. Okay. Oh. Should have removed this. I was thinking why it's so much resistance. Oh, hmm, there's some filament in down there. Hmm. 
should be fine, right? I'm wondering how did I... What did I do with this guy last time? Oosh. Oh, that's just random residue. Okay, good. Let's put that back together. All right. So from this guy, oh yeah, I need the, the bottom fan. Oh, but that doesn't come out without this guy. So, all right. Fan, and you're going into storage. Hello? Yes. And I need the... Screws come out. Hmm. Nope. Uh, doesn't want to come out. Uh, yeah, let's just add some brute force. It's a brute force plus screwing. Almost. Yes. All right. That goes back in here just in case I imagine. I don't think I'm going to use this. Uh, my main pain point with mini self burner is actually not the super small fans because I'm mostly printing ABS and that's fine. My main pain point is that there is not much force on the gears and it's really easy to slip. Uh, I'm not going to take it apart, but like. I need, really need to babysit these mini stealth burners, otherwise they will just slip a lot, and that's not great. Okay, yeah, all right, off you go. And I could reuse this, but I have nice printed in the gray color scheme. So off you go, off you go, and I'm not sure if this is going to be useful, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm going to salvage one more thing. I'm going to salvage the side screws because I don't have too many of them. Oh no, these are the short ones. Never mind. Okay, that goes away as well. So yeah, one more change is that this is guy is using the rods. And our new guy is going to use the square rods. I have pre-cut them already. And personally, I find the square rods to offer more rigidity, like there's more, more surface area to grip into the plastic. Uh, these guys are fine, but you really need to glue them down to hold well. Uh, okay, uh, I'll probably remove all the other bits from that later. Right, so that's out. Oh yeah, one more thing. From the dock we need the pad. Come on. Oh, that's stuck hard. So this is the Oh, let's draw up. Let's try the darkness zoom. Uh, yeah, this is the wiping pad. Oh, I know what's going on. The light is from an interesting angle that is making everything in a weird shadow. 
Oh, maybe this is better. Let's see. And we're going to reuse uh, the magnets. Oh. oh, yeah, this is a super old design with a tiny hole. All right. And tiny. I'm not sure if that's going to be useful. Let me get back to that in a sec. Uh, so needs a screw here. This is really old design, I think. Might be the first one that's top mounted. I can feel how it's all offened. Scroll holes too tight and not fitting well. Okay, off you go. That, that's trash. Uh, yeah. Okay, while well, we're at it, and just to remove all the disarray, let's reassemble the mount first. So this is how it attaches. There's just a single M5. And now I have a question. I have these super short and stubby and I have one set of longer ones. I'm just going to use the longer ones. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this is just the M. What M? It's a two millimeter magnet, five millimeters across, and a steel rod to hold it on. Uh, if you have some ideas how to hold on the magnet, that would be really nice. But yeah, this is just a stupid super glue magnet to steel rod, and then we push them down here. Oh, yeah, like that, and that, that's essentially how they're holding on. And let's also install the, that goes around. And here's our new guy, install the muzzle pad. I'm actually yet to test those nozzle pads with any long prints. Like the longest they have gone is like an hour or so. Uh, shush, too many screws. And so far they're holding up and I want to test them for longer if they are not melting any plastic. Like the silicone is fine, but what happened to the previous design is that just the dock plastic started to melt. And the second part is that maybe the wipe pads are fine and we don't even need to have a wipe tower. But yeah. That's an optimization that is for someday. I have seen Bruce Excel print without wipe tower. And I hear that travel is longer, like just timing wise, it's roughly two seconds longer to change the tools than Excel, but maybe it's good enough. And all right, so that's that. Probably need to adjust the distance and maybe bend it up or down a bit, but yeah, that, let's get to that once we're finished with the rest. Okay, let's put it aside. And clean up our surfaces a bit. Shush, okay. All the bits and pieces. We're going to need that. Okay, what do we start with? Uh, let's. Oh, no, actually, let's go with all the heat set inserts. Uh, need a bunch. Oh, yeah, we need quite a lot. So this is my trusty pine uh, 64 soldering iron. I've been abusing it with heat set inserts. Uh, oh, was the temp? Okay, we're good. It's the heat set temp, not the soldering soldering temp. Uh, let's get some inserts. I ordered the uh, 
Stefan from CNC Kitchen has a nice uh, tip for pine, for this pine soldering iron for heated inserts. So I ordered that. So hopefully it will be here in a few days. But for now, it's the last time this gets this poor tip gets random plastic on it. The nice thing is that uh, temperature is reasonably now low. You can just wipe it off, so the tip is still in fineish condition. Like it's all kind of oxidized a bit, but the tip is still good. And then the tips are like super cheap. Not sure how good that they are like the aliexpress ones but you can get like a tip for four or five dollars and so like i have done this like a thousand times so this is just going by heart okay let's leave that for last Oh yeah, this is interesting. I'll talk later about like, how the control board gets mounted and there's definitely some opportunity for improvements there. Okay. Okay, it's like the Uh, here's what it is. Like the light is kind of oddly lighting this uh, surface. But yeah, it's just extra cozy. I just have like a spotlight sitting right next to the camera and it's uh, bright in the middle but not so bright at the sides. Probably moving it higher up would help but then it would cast a shadow. The camera would cast a shadow. Okay. So. This guy. So yeah, three more to go. Oh, nice. I have the exact number. Okay. Okay. So now we're down to the two most tricky ones. So here. Uh, oh, yes, of course. If you really want to go down here and make sure that these guys are straight, because they get the long thirty millimeter screws, and it's not fun if they are seizing up. Also, they are sunken down slightly below the surface uh yeah that's looking good let me insert the other one and i'll show you a close-up and okay and if anything here is where you're like soldering tip is not great because it's adding ever, ever so slight angle because the threads are on one side and not on the other side. And uh, that, that can use a bit more. All right. So that's all the it sets. Yep. And so let me zoom in. Alright. So these guys are going slightly below the surface like a a millimeter or two. And essentially what you're looking for is that on the other side there's not a big gap. Yeah, that's really hard to see. Uh, but yeah, what matters is that the screws get reasonable grip and there's like at least half of the inset is really threaded in. All right. Okay, next is the fence 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 oh yeah 
this guy is kind of short let's see let's see if it works so i'm not doing any lights just oh no no that's not going to work just because I keep reassembling and disassembling these guys a lot and lights just make it more stuff to assemble and disassemble. So maybe once everything is fancy and I have no other ideas what to do, I'm going to add lights for now. It's not worth it for me. Uh, so there is a, a strategy about how I want this to be wired. So two fans like the hot end fan and this left fan go through here and the right fan and the rest of the hot end wires go through this side okay that's nicely seated and still running all right and like the dragon burner is really tight and I'm making it even tighter with all the stuff, so this is going to be a tricky build. All right, I think at this point I need to install the hot end first. Ah, oh, now I should be able to install the fans before that. And oh man, that's that sucks because the insulation is broken on one wire shouldn't be a big deal like there's no other metal parts it's touching but come on gsd time this is fresh out of the shrink wrap that's not supposed to happen oh let's at least check if it, there's if there's continuity if it's totally snagged then hopefully i have another one if no we'll need to salvage this uh so have our continuity tester and what are we reading? I have no idea what this is supposed to be for a fan. Because there's like a controller and if the voltage is good enough for this guy to actually... No, it's just showing zilch. Um, can I get in there to just, just touch on the solder on the PCB? Oh yeah. So at this point might might as well maybe resolder. So red is nope. Oh yeah. Red is and Seriously, I'll just resolder that. So the thing is, I I need to cut those wires and join in a single connector anyways. So might as well do it now and resolder that thing. So that goes here. And this is where it gets tricky because I need to clean the tip of the iron oh, just a tiny bit of plastic oh it's actually good all right all right okay coming here and before I start so Got that guy. Yeah, this was not planned, but not a big deal. Okay, all prepped, so we just need to. 
get my temps up to 350. Thin those wires. to untwist. Can't unsolder both at the same time. Yep. That goes to trash. And yeah, perfect. So ideally I wanted would like to put some flux in there but it's super tight. Oh man, I forgot which one is which. Uh, let's just look at the other guy. Okay so Plus goes at the bottom. Okay, that's good. That's good. Perfect. Okay. Nice. Okay, that can move aside oh yeah let's put the sticker back on there good as new are you hmm. uh, oh it's twisted later i'm trusting it's fine if not you're going to need to take it apart again okay so these guys can go in. Mm -hmm. And this is where I'm saying it's a tight fit. Okay, this is going to be a bit more tricky. I need to remove the wire. This, whatever this thing is in, is retention pin or whatever. And GSD time for some reason just adds a bunch of hot glue that makes it messy. All right, uh, so this way, and uh, yeah. All right, there that starts to look like a uh, hot end. Nice. And next, 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 what's next? The hot end. Uh, so these guys are directional. I think it goes like this, but I almost forget. Uh, okay, let's mount the hot end. And Revo is really nice that you just kind of use the regular and three screws, no crazy 2.5s. Uh, yeah, I'm running three Revos, two Dragons, and one Rapido on the printer. Rapido is just so I can use it, but frankly, it's a crazy overkill for a tool changer and it gets a lot of heat out and hello why are you not going in and it has melted a few hot ends already so I'm, that might be the next video taming rapido on a tap changer 
I have some ideas, but it's it's going to be try or never. Okay. Tightening it down. And well, I still remember this is the right moment to install the PFT tube. Maybe even I want to take this apart. Uh, where are you? Oh, yeah, here. The trick is. Oh, yeah, I want to take this apart. The trick is that I didn't clean up the hole and it's too tight. One more adventure along the way. And since I don't have any drills on me, there's always the trusty finds the right sized I fix it bit and ram it through. Okay. And there's still something in the middle that's not really reaching. Let's go for one size smaller. Oh yeah, that's too small. Uh, that's too small. Oh yeah. M6 wrench Allen key. Hello? Okay, looking good. That's the room. All right, okay. So, yes, uh, maybe a bit loose, but doesn't hurt. Uh, so, oh yeah, the orientation is not really relevant, except as long as it's flat, because you can run nicely rotate. Uh, let's put it back. Yep. And tighten. Oops. All right, now we can go and install the PFT tube. And this guy stacks on top. Not sure which way, yeah, this is the right way. And then let's cut it to the length. Uh, how deep does this go? Hmm. So this is my first time trying to set up the Galileo. It's a uh, shallow-ish, but we will need to clean it a bit as well. Oh. Yeah, a drill would have been so much nicer, but that's that's in the shed, and that's not. I'm not going there today. So it's just yeah, five millimeters. Let's try to wing it. Okay. Don't want to cut my fingers. This thing is insanely sharp. Okay, I think this yeah. is a bit too much. Yeah, like a half mil. Okay, that was a bit more than half. Oh, pretty close. Okay, I'll just clean up the edges a bit to not allow any filament to snag on it. Okay, good. And 
this together. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, off you go and let's try to assemble this and see how are we with the wire length. And that goes that way. Perfect. Uh, right. So here is where the tricky part starts. So I have this gap. Oh, my side to the loop. Hello? Yes. So this gap is meant for the heater wire and the thermistor wire. And I'm just seeing an opportunity. Let's, mm, ah, let's keep it as is. Like I, I'm, I'm thinking if I want to remove this uh, clip, like the fan, how do you call this? Oh man, English is not my first language, of course. Uh, screw hole. And, but I think it's fine. But what I'm afraid a bit of, about is if it's going to push hard, then it's like the trick is that the, the silicon sock gets somewhat hot. And if you can see here, I already have trimmed the silicon sock off, so the, the actual like metal piece is already somewhat there and why because just to make it work like it's already kind of very close to the room that's available here and also it's bent up slightly like normally it's horizontal and now it's gonna at a slight angle just to make it past the vent fan and uh, yeah this is the biggest hassle of using existing hot ends that they're not really meant for a closed back and we're closing this back up like, like this this is where we're going uh, all right and yeah this is the next step just just putting on the lid and it's a bit tight i want to ensure all the wires are nicely in their positions and not being squeezed oh actually it looks like we're should be good on the length let's see all right and uh, that's it that's, that's oh yeah before we do that we want to install all the accessories to the back pane okay here goes the fun and, uh, so so we have our two square rods and essentially I redesigned the holes so they are now quite big and loose. So you see just gonna just mostly just go in, yeah, this is a finger, finger push. The problem is that that's, that's not good, like the, it's going to lo lose itself out during operation and also it's probably adding to the slack. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a tiny bit of uh, PVA glue. PVA glue gets mm, all melty at like 60 or so degrees. So this is not perfect. Oh, it's dried up. But it's very reversible. If I feel that oh yeah this design is final I need to yeah have something to push it up if I feel that this design is final and yeah I'm fine with never recovering the rods again then yeah I might go with CA glue or epoxy yeah epoxy sounds like crazy overkill CA glue should be fine and for now I'm just doing PVA glue Okay, and yeah, just push them in, easy peasy, like I did literally no cleanup, just remove the supports, push them in, and they're going in a bit more, so yeah, like this, so there's like a stopper on the other side to 
uh, make sure they're not too far in and oh yeah I sh could use a tissue oh well dries up super quick on the fingers uh, okay that's done and the other side we want the and three screws that is nice and so what I'm looking for is the ones that have nice and smooth heads because the ball bearings are rolling on them of course uh, okay, now we need this and so these guys are 8 mils. 8 mils are slightly too long and 6 mils are slightly too short. So what happens is that so this is yeah just screwing into the plastic. It's it's a tight fit on purpose. Like they're supposed to grip in. And like it's going to come out a tiny bit. But yeah, it just go all the way in and then we're going to back out a bit once we're getting to the adjustment side and in, 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 in. okay good so yeah this guy is like sticking out quite a lot and potentially you could go for six mil on one and eight mil on the other but Let's see how it goes. We can swap it out later. All right. So before we put it together, let, let's let's test how this thing is working. So I have like my testing uh, shuttle. That's not the real one. This is just a one I can use. Like the real one is on the printer, of course. And oh yeah, it's it's a nice and loose fit. It's wiggling around a bit. We can actually go and adjust it backwards, but. The real adjustment is going to be on the printer. Yeah, this is, and there's no magnet yet. So let's put that in place. Uh, do I have any spares? Uh, to dig up throw my stuff. Yeah, I could actually just get this guy out. Where is my flat? Yep. Oh, that was not even glued in. Okay. So, yeah, technically you can just press fit it, but it, it's going to get loose because this place gets somewhat hot. So, yeah, the way I'm, you, you want to make sure this is in correct orientation. The way I'm doing that is, let, let me do it again. It's kind of important. I'm just dropping it on the shuttle and then just pressing it in and it aligns with the hole and there. It's in. But before that, I want to add a tiny bit of CA glue. PVA might work, but just Removing CA glue here is super easy. It's 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 brittle and it just drops out. And now I just press, move, and let's press it in a bit more. It didn't go in all the way. Oh, it's already set. Too late. Oh, that's that's no worries. Yep, yeah. that's a nice. That's the sound you're looking for. And now I can test like that. Should click back or, or like with one millimeter of travel or so. That's your that's your probing distance. And then. And that's that's hot. Cool. Oh man, that's all. Oh yeah. So while we're doing this, let's 
let's just make it a bit tighter and leave it in so so this just provides some pressure for the pva glue to set on the rods so it is like nice and snug okay that's nice and now now we're putting it all together oh before that so this is one glitch that i am addressing in an interesting way so maybe i will redesign it at some point but for now it's just super easy to fix on the go so the bearings are extending ever so slightly into the fans actually not the bearings but the two screw heads and the fix for that is just I'm going to take the corner of the fan housing and again a really sharp knife helps and you don't need much very really quick a millimeter and a bit Perfect. All right. And now I can put it all together. And okay. Oh. Yeah. Need to make sure that the cables are parallel and not twisted. Uh, Okay, that looks good. That looks aligned. Uh, still not going all the way in. What am I missing? It's kind of bubbly around. Oh, I think I need to clean out the corners a bit. Still some supports left. for no gaps pretty much shouldn't be should like come down nice and tight and no wires should be compressed oh yeah that's good clicked into place okay and we'll start tightening it down So, um, do I want this or short? Ah, this is going to be fine. I'm just thinking if six or four millimeter screws. Six looks good. Uh, this is my first time doing this, so I have no idea. In the CAD, there's like place for whatever. It just goes into the fan duct. But you could do either four or six. I just have six millimeter ones on hand. Oh, that didn't grab the threads just right. Yes. Okay. It's nice and tight. Let's tighten the back. This can look good. No wires. 
getting snagged anywhere. Nope. Nice, and uh, I think the screw length is pretty spot on. Came right, right through, plus minus. Yeah, that's why it's pulled off, full of PVA. Cool, all right, and let's see where we are with the wiring. So this just, there's like a rim that's where it goes so yeah the screw hole so yeah let me show you this guy so there's this uh, adjustment screw and i'm leaning to keep it this is extending like a millimeter and it might rub on the wiring when i adjust it but frankly i'm going to do it once and then glue in place so fine let's just let's just all go here and these guys go into their side. Okay, that's starting to shape up. Nice, that looks good. Put this back on, and what do we have left? Uh, that's the extruder. Yeah, let's work on this guy. So, uh, Oh, sorry, man. Yeah, oops, that was not useful at all. So we're, we finished, yeah, just to recap, we finished this guy. Now we're working on the extruder and we'll link them back as a last, link them together as a last step. Back together. My English is failing me. So, uh, so this is, uh, I'll link in the description. There's a GitHub project that made this nice uh, adapter for uh, all kinds of toolboards. The one I'm going to be using is EBB36, working fine so far. And so, since the plan is there's standoffs attached to the motor mounting holes, and then there is a mounting plate for the tool head, tool board, and finally there's the shield. Okay. And hope I have the right one. Looks about right. So I'm running out of screws. That's not a problem. Oh no, oh no. My phone is out of battery. Okay. Yeah, I'm filming with my phone and it's just saying it has 10% left. So that means we have like 20 minutes. I probably want to do this in one go, ideally. So yeah, I already pre-shortened pre this guy. Like normally you get like a half a meter of, or even more of a wiring. I just made this small one that's going to plug right into the tool board. And now it's going to get interesting. So, so now we have clutch 22. Here's the shield, which attaches with the same screws that the tool board is attaching, but tool board we want the toolboard to be reasonably fixed to put in all the connections, but we can't put in the connections without the, when the shield is on. So let's just very lightly put in some temporary screws. And start wiring it up. Oh man, it's barely reaching. I might get lucky or I might get unlucky. Oh, perfect. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, I'm a bit of a wires need to be exactly right length guy, which sometimes 
doesn't work. Most of the time it does. Okay, and now for the final step. Okay, it all goes together. And like this. And now I need some screws. What the hell are we, what are we using here? Sixteens. Uh, Definitely too short. Okay. Let's do it like this. That's too short. So twenty. 20 mils. Yeah, it looks about right. I'm actually not sure if these are like 20s or 24s, but as long as they do the job, I'm happy. And yep. Looking good. That's the wrong size tip. Okay. I have all the right orange colors, or I'm not sure. I just made the orange because that's the Galileo colors in their site, but. Personally, I like the green better. Okay, now is the moment of truth. Do the wires reach? And do we have enough room for the two boards? And this is there's probably some glue here for the piece of paper. Okay, let me just get rid of that. All right, and so yeah, the, the sensor just barely fits, but it, it pushes on to the motor. And I'm just going to, this is the first time I, oh, you know. So my plan was to maybe just I can nip a tiny bit of the board, but there's just a nice C right at the corner. Let's see how much are we missing? Like less than a millimeter? Let's try this. Uh, so yeah, don't try this at home. Just in case what's on the other side. Uh, just earth. I'm just looking where it's connected and here goes nothing. Whoosh. Use a knife. It's a bit less dramatic. I'm not sure if it's a good idea at all. But don't see any traces immediately there. Did it help? No, not really. So yeah. Galileo Beta, uh, not really working out. It's, it's too low. Okay, let's let's finish the rest. This this yeah. Either I can, 
I don't think I can take off a millimeter here. That, that's, that's not realistic. So I'll probably print a spacer that just lifts everything up a millimeter. Yeah, that, that should work. Sounds good. For now, let's just leave it here and finish the rest. Uh, okay, so... Heater wires. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, thermistor goes here. And fan. Do we have enough wire length for the fan? Oh, oh man, sorry. Let's zoom out, of course. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, the wiring is not great. And uh, yeah, I still need to do those guys. Like, but yeah, my phone is about to die. So let, let me just clean it up. Let, let's, let's recap. And I need to print that spacer and finish it up in a separate go. Let's just, Let's just make it pretty for now, as pretty as we can. It's not going to be pretty. Okay. Shield goes on. Something was holding it back from the right position. But now we're landing. Good, good, nice, nice, nice. All the way through. All the way through. Perfect. Uh, okay, so yeah, what? Yeah, looking horrible. Ah, man. How can I fix this super temporarily? Uh, don't watch. Don't look. Mm, okay. Something like this. Like, I need to... Extends the heater wires, extends the fan wires, fix this guy and connect all the fans. But the rest is looking pretty solid. And let's see if it works with the dock. Nope. This does not work with the dock. This does. So now it's not, not connecting and we need to push the magnets so they touch the screws okay nice so that, that that's on hot end not really done but almost done and uh, the new part actually worked really nicely there was no fit problems like the wire routing was all good our pad is looking slightly off center Let's fix that real quick. So it doesn't want to be fixed. Interesting. Why we are off center? Oh no, we're pretty dead on. That's good. And cool. 
all right thanks for watching this was a super long one we're over one hour wow and uh, i like how it, it's quite strong now so hopefully this like it's holding its own weight almost i hope this this is a better hold and also there's more wiggle room than the previous one so it just it can land more loosely and and also these uh, pins are longer because the screws are deeper that has two benefits first of all like the screws are actually threading in all the way and uh, it's actually connecting more robustly all right so all right thanks for watching and uh, let me know if you want me to finish this on stream as well but yeah this needs to get finished and then it can go back on the, to the printer cheers